Hello, everyone. And I'm glad to see you all here today. Um, that's a pretty short webinar in comparison with the full um, seminars that we are usually giving for two days or sometimes for three days. But I will try to give you just the essence of the viral technology interpretation in um, application of fingers. We are, will not talk about the accessories today because we will not have time uh, to discuss all this about Sputniks and other um, accessories. Uh, by the way, there are video uh, recordings of such webinars where I'm explaining the concepts of um, usage of um, accessories and uh, you are welcome to watch it on YouTube. Um, the, the links you can find on the Biowell website or on uh, my uh, YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about capturing of fingertips of a human being and how to make correct interpretation. So um, let's start from the beginning, the main um, question. Uh, what we are actually measuring uh, with the biowell. In terms of technology and physics, uh, you probably have seen the um, webinar by Dr. Kortkov and he has tried to explain it from the physical point of view, so that we are extracting electrons from the fingertips that are creating the um, light emission of the air. So, uh, but still, even ab ab uh, after all these explanations, after all these videos recorded and manuals written, still some people are continuing to ask this question. So what kind of energy we're measuring? So we're extracting free electrons from the fingertips. That's it. How they appear there, why they appear there, how many of them, what is the concentration there? That's a different question. And it's more of a question to, um, biology or um, anatomy etc these kind of uh, our medicine uh, so they should answer these questions what, what are the dependencies oh we can only say that we are extracting these free electrons from the fingertips and we are having this uh, light emission so full stop here so um, the most important thing is um, that we need to understand from which perspective we should uh, work and uh, with the data that we uh, get from the um, bio. So one of the main things to understand is this concept. Um, I hope that every one of you can see my screen. So, um, in the corner so the thing is there, there are hundreds of technologies that are um, measuring the state of the person from different sides and approaches they do that by well is not an exception from this rule we are also trying to assess the state of the person at the present moment um, the thing is that the mindset of a person who is doing this scan is highly, very highly important in terms of interpretation. So you can see here illness and health. So we are constantly oscillating, deviating somewhere in between these two extremes about absolute health and absolute illness. Yes, yeah? so we are somewhere in the middle. So we are constantly moving back and forth, depending on the conditions and different situations of our life. Uh, we change our inner state. So, but the main thing here is that when you come to a medical doctor, the medical doctor will analyze your state and tell you, you have uh, three months left till you die, or you have uh, six months, or you have 10 years or something like that or um, your illness name is this, or your name of illness is that. So they're actually interested about 
measuring the distance between your current position and the illness in order to define and also they need to define what exact illness is there so they are more interested in this field measuring the distance between your state and illness whilst we are not so interested in this we are more interested in measuring your state and then defining how far from health you are and what steps you need to take in order to be healthy in order to increase your wellness so this is very important uh, concept so we still have some people joining you're welcome um, the main concept here is that biwell is about wellness biwell is about measuring the distance between your current state and the health we are not assessing what type of disease you have what kind of symptoms you have etc we have other methods for these purposes and let medicine do this define your medical diagnosis and write it down in latin in your medical card biwell is not about that we are doing biwell scans in order to define how far from ideal state you are and the magnificent thing about biwell is that it's visual you can open the measurements of the person and you can see if this person is having more deviations in the emission more breakthroughs or the emission is more smooth and homogeneous very simple you don't need even any numbers yet numbers are needed for science for some calculations and for comparison but in order to do this some kind of uh, basic interpretation of your state you don't need any numbers you just look at the emission itself so that's the beautiful part about biowell so by having some kind of this emission you can understand yeah i am not so close to the ideal state so i need to change something in my life i need to change something and make some steps towards prevention of illness or to right to need some to make some steps towards health and then there will be just a question what steps to take and then you can follow different types of concepts and biwell is not limiting you in, in types of concepts that you can apply if you like taking pills welcome take pills if you like uh, making different kind of energy practices do energy practices you like meditation do meditation all the approaches that are available on this planet are in your hands so you can apply any approaches you like but you need to apply these these approaches in this direction in the direction of health and you have to forget about the illness because actually we all have the same composition the content inside our bodies is almost the same i mean female and male bodies are two types of uh, bodies but still two classes are constructed in the same way so it means that the steps towards the health are also the same there are some basic things and basic rules that you can follow in order to get healthier so this is this is the main concept based on which we will do all the interpretation we will do the visual analysis based on this concept and we will do the parametric analysis based on this concept too we don't care about the name of the illness and i don't want to answer the questions about oh i have scanned a person with this kind of disorders uh, why i cannot see them on the screen on the biwell scan Biwell is not about that at all. Let's forget about this. It's not about diagnostics. If you want precise diagnostics, you can use other technologies. Here, the most important is to define where the problematic zones are 
no matter what's the name of these um, problems, and then do some preventive steps. Okay, so that's what we are going to base all our interpretation. Looking through all the tabs in the software, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so um, we have explained in the manuals and uh, our materials and viable videos on seminars many times the significance of the calibration of um, biowell device. As long as this emission that you see on the screen, actually the, the colors like are just grayscale. Um, this is just the light of the air. So it means the me uh, measurements that you take and the parameters that you get depend on the air. And not only air, but all the electromagnetic um, state of the environment around your system and if we consider this we will understand that even connecting or disconnecting your computer from the mains if you plug it in or plug out from the socket will change the environmental conditions for your system for the biowell and it means if you have done calibration with the, uh, the cable plugged in and you want to continue without the cable, you need to redo the calibration. So it, it, this concept is the same for all types of changes in the um, state around you. So we take a biowell device and just will do calibration right here, right now. So as long as uh, calibration takes only like 16, 20 seconds overall. It's not a big deal to, do, to make it as frequently as possible, you know? Um, only if you're 100% sure that nothing has changed in the environmental uh, conditions in the place where you are working uh, from the moment of the previous uh, calibration, that's fine, you can miss, you can uh, skip this process, but as long as it doesn't take like, several minutes it's just half a minute just we we'll clean the glass so there will be no excessive humidity there so i will just do it right here right now um i have done already a video about reproducibility of the biowell device and i have shown that the device itself is giving reproducibility of about 98 99 percent sometimes even higher. So the device itself works pretty stable and it is tuned, the latest versions like the Biwell 2 are very stable. So all the ongoing changes that you can see from scan to scan are due to the change of the state of the person. So I will do a fast scan of myself, just as a brief demonstration of how it should be done. Um, I am in a moderate stress state now, I would say just slight stress you know, now, as long as I'm conducting webinar, I'm a little bit nervous. So there should be some breakthroughs in the emission of my fingers. So they're slightly hot. So, but also this is an interesting thing that you can see such emissions like these kind of bulbs, splashes that you see on the screen now uh, for people who are stressed. You can see that on the left ring, there's a big gap in the emission. So that's why the, that's because uh, there's too much sweat has uh, collected on the glass. And so I wipe it and now it's closer to reality of this exact finger. So 
now I have to clean it. I like once again, device and software cannot do everything for you. Software cannot clean all the external noises that you can see on the images. So if you see some splashes, it's better to, and they, they are connected to the external light, not to the light of your fingertip, you need to raise them. Software doesn't do it for you. So it's your responsibility once again. So even though it shows you sometimes the green tick that everything is fine, still you have to control this excessive emission. Okay, so I will have to rescan the left ring. You see the blue line is, even though the, the green tick is there, so it was able to define where the blue line is and the size of the finger is fine, but still the orientation is not so good. So I will rescan the finger again. It's too low, sorry. Okay, so everybody's online. Yep. So fast scan is done. We can click analyze. What you will find out that you can scan a stressed person, but who is not doing any physical exercises, no physical activities not doing any sports, um, you will see that these people, well, uh, they're having wet fingers, will not have almost any emission. And it's directly connected with the biochemistry of the fingertips and what is there, what is injected in the blood, etc. And whilst if you scan a professional athlete, even with the absolutely wet fingers, they will still show the emission. So it means that their organism is trained to work despite all the odds. So even in negative conditions, uh, they will still continue working. So you will see still some emission and the energy will not drop down to like 20, 30 or 40. So in, in this case, you can see that it's still in this lower part of the normal zone. Okay, so um, main thing here, you see that the stress level is showing like still optimal, whilst you see here that it's not so ideal, I would say from the terms of, you know, visual analysis. Um, what's important here is that the reproducibility of these kind of scans depend highly on your state. If your state is like this, then even conducting several scans in a row will not change the, the condition. Whilst when your stress state is higher and it's not ideal or um, calm, then you, uh, like in this zone near two, then of course the deviation variability between the scans increases. So, and it's not because of the bio well, it's, uh, because of your state, because BioWell gives you up to one or two percent variability only. All the rest is due to the personal uh, person state. So I will just make it again. I will do the scan one more time. As long as we are not basing any conclusions on one scan. I have uh, told it and I've uh, uh, explained it in all the manuals and all the um, seminars that I have conducted. So you never base your conclusions on one scan. So you have to repeat the scans in order to get some kind of reliable data that your conclusions will based on. So I will do one more scan, full scan again. 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's too much of sweat now on this on the glass. So I will have to re-scan a couple of fingers. You can see how highly dependent the images uh, are on the sweat on your fingertips because this gas discharge is highly dependent on it in its physical essence. And it's, of course, directly connected with your level of stress. Cleaning all the images from the external noises. It's pretty sunny today here in St. Petersburg, so not a regular thing, but okay. It's all done. All 10 fingers are acceptable quality. We click analyze. We are ready. So you see that uh, the stress is going up. So it's now I can see some kind of average yeah, for myself. So here it was 2.8, here it's three. So I'm in some anxious a little bit about what I'm doing, like uh, about uh, conducting the webinar. Um, you can see that the energy here, 46.8, it has decreased. And um, what's important here, here it was 50, 0.4, here it is 46.8. So we send it to compare in order to see the what's the average for me now. So you can see this kind of breakthroughs and in, in the emissions in different projections. So you can see that, yeah, at the present moment, I'm not in the ideal state. If we compare this with uh, my previous scans, for example, that I've done like couple of weeks ago and we send them here we can see the difference yeah and of course in terms of stress level we can also see the difference here it was right at point two here it's closer to three so to anxiety so but you can easily understand the state of the person more or less without having exact number just by looking at the images uh, like this. So the more gaps, more breakthroughs you see, more inconsistencies you see, more stress is the person. More breakthroughs, less emission, less energy has the person. So actually BioWell is about measuring and assessing three parameters. We are assessing energy of the person, we are assessing stress of the person, stress level, and we are assessing balance. So BioWell is about measuring or assessment of three parameters, energy, stress, and balance. Actually, nothing else. So as long as we have agreed with you in the beginning that we are not interested in medical inter diagnostics, we are talk we'll be talking only about energy, stress, and balance. And stress level, you can visually see yourself, the difference. Energy level, you can see on these graphs, and you see the difference here and here. What I want to tell you about the energy and interpretation of it. So the stress level is more or less understandable. I just want to say to you that stress, is, stress uh, parameter in BioWall software is um, an, I would say, empirical parameter that we are um, developing, still developing. 
we are only planning to conduct uh, big studies with psychologists uh, that we will correlate the current formula because we have done already some measurements with the previous formulas of stress calculation with the psychological quizzes and tests. But now we have uh, made it even more sensitive and even more reliable, this stress assessment. Uh, and um, we are planning to make this kind of um, research in order to see this kind of comparison between the psychological tests and our um, um, measurement tool of BioWell. So the grid that you see from zero to 10 is also some kind of relative grid and these zones are also relative. They're not exact. They are not directly related to any uh, standardized psychological tests yet. So these norms may be corrected and improved with the time once we will do uh, more tests and we'll finish the research. So but with the stress, it's more or less understandable, but many people are still asking if the stress that we are measuring, is it a physiological stress or is it a psychological stress? This stress is overall stress, general stress of the person, physiological and psychological. For biowell, it doesn't matter in terms of calculation of the stress, if your fingers are sweat just because you are thinking about something and you're stressed about something, or if you're just feeling hot, feeling hot just because you're just the weather conditions are too extreme. For example, it's too hot in the room for you, too humid conditions for you, for example, in the room. That's why you're uh, sweating. So for biwell, it doesn't matter. So stress calculation is just giving you the overall stress. And you cannot directly define if it's a psychological stress or it's a physiological stress. In order to understand the psychological part of it, you can always refer to chakras to see how balanced the person is. So the more balanced the person is at the current st um, state, it, the less is the probability that the stress that you see is due to the psychological state. So it's mostly physiological. For example, a person has just done too many exercises or a person uh, is feeling uh, too hot or the humidity is too high in the room. So the stress is overall stress, integral one. So the next, the energy. The energy parameter is also the parameter that we have derived ourselves. The, um, the grid that you see from zero to 100 is based on the concept that um, in average, the maximum energy of the finger that you, we see usually is 10 joules maximum. So when there's some in, uh, excessive emissions there. Um, so if we multiply 10 on 10, we have 10 fingers and the maximum value for the whole finger is 10. So we have 100. That's why the grid is 100 here. Um, I can say we have never experienced with the biowell to measure measurements even close to 100 because it's almost impossible to have all the systems in the body at the maximum mission. So the norms, the optimal zone here is empirically uh, derived from the statistical analysis that was uh, made based on the results that we have at the present moment. Uh, but I can say that this optimal result from 40 to 70 is not um, specific. So from the empirical experience that you can also see yourself by using BioWell, you can see that, for example, for um, youth, for kids, the optimal zone is a little bit different rather than um, one for grown-ups. For elder people, the optimal zone should be different. So for me, having like 48, um, 46 uh, centijoules of energy, it's not like it's not an optimal state 
for me, the optimal state, the ideal is around 60. So when I'm moving closer to 50, it's already me meaning that I'm getting tired. So for example, if I didn't sleep enough or I'm stressed at the present moment, so my energy goes down. Of course, when you're stressed, your efficiency goes down and your energy goes down. So the ideal is when you're not stressed, and that, that's the um, state in which you can function the best uh, way. So, and I know that when it goes beyond 50, closer to 40, it's already for me low energy state. So, but we don't have enough statistical data yet in order to apply these kind of uh, norms for different age groups and for different uh, genders. So maybe um, even these norms can vary for different nationalities. Who knows? We never measured it. Uh, we have like some research made by um, Indian research group that uh, they have scanned um, Indians and they have found that the, their norms are a little bit different from the norms that are established um, by us worldwide. So, but the essence is that these zones of optimal lower or heightened values of energy are now pretty wide so um, the interpretation is always is also like optimal is optimal so for me I have to be really tired to get to 20 or 30 so for me for like I know that when it goes below 50 it's already time to be cautious about uh, energy state and uh, to do some preventive steps, to take rest, to relax and um, to meditate and uh, to new normalize the state. So that's what I told you just um, a couple of minutes ago. So for the grown up, according to our experience, the ideal ideal is around 60, somewhere around 60. Uh, an energy uh, graph. So when it goes closer to 50, it means you are getting tired. It, if it goes from 50 to 40, it's already time to take rest. No need to wait till you get to 30 or 20. It means you're already exhausted. So um, as I say that we are working on uh, improving these graphs and making them more accurate and specific. So the balance here is just the comparison between left and right hand overall. All the energy on the one hand is compared to all the energy on the another hand. So, and given in percentage from the average. So it's 97, 90, 98. So you see that even here, um, my balance is pretty good. I would say that the balance parameter is not so informative, whilst the organs disbalance is much more informative and interesting in terms of comparison, because it is given in percentage of um, dominance of one hand upon another. If you look at the fingers and you look at the sectors on the fingers, you will see that um, some sectors in BioWell software are doubled. So you can see the same sectors, names, thyroid gland, throat, larynx, trachea, on one on left hand, and then you see the same on the right hand. Whilst some of the sectors are not doubled. So they are present only on one hand and you will not see them on the another hand. So uh, such sectors, will not be taken into consideration while your uh, software is calculating this uh, disbalance because it is taking into consideration only paired sectors. The list of all these paired sectors you can see in the balance tab it, right here, 32 of them. They are all divided into the systems. So according to the acupuncture point concept, that is being applied during the intersection of these uh, fingers. You can, uh, the software divides each finger into sectors and then calculates this kind of comparative graph like you see here on the balance chart. So you see that the left hand is green, the right hand is blue. Same colors are applied here. When this graph of organs disbalance moves to the right, it becomes blue. When it 
moves to the left, it becomes green. So here we have a medium dominance of right hand. So if it goes to the left, there will be a dominance of the left hand. So what does it mean? Uh, this parameter is directly uh, connected with this uh, left-right hand equilibrium in the system. It's directly connected with the redistribution of energy flows in your body. How the brain controls this. If it's sending more energy one side or less energy another side. So you can understand why it is like that. You can apply by looking at this screen of the analysis tab where you don't need any actual sectors yet. You can understand one general concept about the human state. Well, our, first of all, our system was developed by someone. You, if you're like some religion, you can tell that it was designed by God. If you're uh, like another concept, it was designed by nature through evolution, etc. But doesn't matter which concept you're following, it means somebody has taken care of this kind of development of this complex system. And if this system was developed, it means there are some kind of tools in order to analyze this system without intervening inside the system. So if you have a very complex computer or nuclear factory or just nuclear power plant, for example, it's very dangerous to get inside. Yeah, so you, you, it's better not to touch what is going in there or any other complex machine or system you take. It means that such systems should have some kind of terminal point, terminals through which somebody who operates the system or somebody who wants to analyze the system uh, can make some assessment of the state of this system without getting inside the system. So if I will be the designer of um, such a system, I would create some kind of terminal points through which I can do such analysis. So from my perspective, we have such terminal points like we have hands on which we have acupuncture points, which we can analyze their uh, activity or just without acupuncture points, just the hands that are connected, the left hand with the right hemisphere and the right hand with the left hemisphere. So then we can analyze the balance between activities of these hemispheres. So we can understand the balance of the uh, system. Also, we can um, see the stress level just by looking how homogeneous is the light. By analyzing the amount of light, we can see how, how much energy the system possesses. But when we look on, on the balance between left and right, it's just we need to understand at which state the system is now. Is it accelerating now or it's slowing down now? What we need to do, like even though it is like an imbalanced state now, we need to know the trend, the vector where it is going now in order to understand what we will face next moment in order to prevent this. So that's why we have such a concept like the right hand is connected to the left hemisphere and is connected with slowing down and or energy saving mode or when we have the left hand that is connected with the right hemisphere then we are talking about the excitation and energy usage so it's like uh, driving a car you have gas pedal to accelerate and you have brakes to slow down so by analyzing this state of these two hands by seeing which one is dominating, you can understand if your organism is in process of acceleration or in process of breaking. So that's why this parameter can give you the understanding and which state and which vector the person is now. So I have seen people who are, um, and I've made measurements, who are having this kind of imbalance uh, between the left and right hand constantly. 
no matter what, in the morning, in the noon, at the afternoon, at the night time, it's always a dominance high or medium dominance of one hand. So once again, dominance of right hand means you're slowing down. You want to take rest, you want to save the energy. So you see that this scan that we are looking at, the first scan that we've made, I've made on myself, was showing that my system was willing, having 50 energy joules, it was showing that I would rather take rest rather than work hard. So then in six minutes, we've made the second test of me. And if we look here, okay, the um, breaking process has stopped, but you can see that some energy has been lost. So still there is a small deviation. I'm still in optimal zone, but uh, it's going to the right side. So slowing down was saying that I just, I shouldn't work. I should take rest. Well, but I'm continue working. I don't, I do not take rest. So it is showing decrease and drop down in energy because I didn't listen to my body. I didn't take rest. I continued working. So I lost the energy. So that's the concept. Uh, that we are applying to this parameter. So also very interesting and this um, concept is about interconnection of these parameters. Main parameters of this software and main parameters of the BioWall software is stress, energy, and balance. How they're connected between each other. So um, again, we can imagine that we are driving the car so it's, it's the, easier, the easiest way to visualize it is that the energy level is how much gasoline fuel you have in your tank. Whilst the stress level is the acceleration, the, the, the speed with which you are going. So how fast you the RPM of your engine, how fast you are burning your fuel. So the higher is the stress level, faster you're burning your fuel. Then the organs in this balance, the balance of your system will be showing if your organism is willing to slow down or is ready to go further and uh, be more active and increase the RPM or increase the energy expenditures. So keep in mind this visual, uh, visualization of a car and you will understand that these parameters are independent. The RPM, the speed with which you burn the fuel. You can burn the fuel very fast even having absolutely minimum of fuel or you can be absolutely cool, calm whilst you have absolute minimum. So even at lowest energy, the stress can be high and can be low. The balance is also showing you the vector where your organism is willing to go. Either it wants to slow down or it wants to accelerate. And then it's next question to you, how to make interpretation of it, why your organism or the organism of the person whom you scanned is willing to accelerate or willing to slow down. And you have to find it out. Whilst the biowell is not giving you the exact answer to this question, why it is like that, it is a visualizer tool for you to understand in which state you know, the person is and where it is going or willing to go. So by using biowell, you can monitor this process from the initial point and then by doing something, for as we discussed in the beginning, we are more interested in finding some tools, some approaches towards wellness. We want to be healthy and wealthy. Uh, so we need to define these approaches and we need to start doing something according to them. And Biowell can help you to monitor, to track this process. So you can use it to see how stable you are, What's the stress level during the day? What's the energy level during the day? How, how the balance goes back and forth during the day? Are you able to maintain low stress level 
and high energy or optimal energy level through and optimal balance through the day, no matter what you're doing. So for me, I'm not ideal. If I would be ideal, even conducting this webinar, my stress should be closer to two and my energy should be closer to 60 and balance should be close to zero. So I'm stressed and I'm nervous whilst in ideal state. So I have some things to work on in my life, in my inner uh, in mindset, in my reprogramming my mindset and psychological uh, sphere. So, um, or taking more um, care of my physical body should be maybe, uh, getting asleep at the proper time, should be uh, um, having more, uh, I would say, holistic uh, um, diet, etc., etc. So, Biwell is helping you to track this process just by continuing these um, scans of the person. Um, actually, the main graph is here. The main parameters, integral parameters, is uh, here. So, as I told you, the organs imbalance, disbalance, it's shown here. It's directly connected with this tab of balance, where you can see specific organs or systems that are more or less imbalanced. And if you want to make some preventive steps, you can prioritize these preventive steps by seeing that some of the systems are more imbalanced in comparison to others. So you can concentrate on specific field. For example, if it's more connected to some um, nutrition to digestive system, then you will pay more attention to your nutrition. If it's more connected with the energy uh, regulation, then you will uh, pay more attention to your physical activity and physical exercises. If it's uh, more connected to your uh, nervous system or for example, endocrine system regulation, so some integral parameters. So um, you can pay attention more to these factors and to these systems. Just these graphs and these balances are just showing you where to concentrate your attention and from what to start your path towards health. This graph is not to tell you what is the name of the illness. Of course, you can see the, the imbalances in some areas, whilst you see that based on SUJOC, there, there, there are uh, concepts that are saying that uh, the uh, approach that uh, Biwell is applying is SUJOC, uh, based on SUJOC acupuncture points. And um, some acupuncturists are saying that sujo points are showing something only when there are problems. Um, so like they're being activated when there's some severe problems there. Whilst there are no severe problems, they don't show almost anything. So who knows if it's true or not. Based on the TCM, we have only six meridians on the hands and six on the feet. So from based on the TCM, we shouldn't see any um, uh, sectors connected to kidneys here. Um, but in this system, it is showing. This is uh, like the theory that has some kind of approvals and some studies made. But for us, the most important thing is to see the consistency and reproducibility of some uh, marks on the graphs. So if we scan one person many times in different parts of the day, as I, as I told you uh, in the beginning, the essence of this technology is not to scan once the person is to, but to monitor the state during the time as long as possible. The more data you have the, about the person, the more accurate will be your conclusions and recommendations what to do to be more healthy. So based on these kind of scans, if you go to the comparison and you see the balance chart, you can see, for example, in one scan, it's all in green zone and it's no imbalanced sectors at all, 100% of balanced. Whilst here we see that it's not so good, more sectors, more, more uh, sectors are in red zone, energy deficiency, and there are more imbalances. 
So it means that this state is more close to ideal, while this one is not. So the task for each person is to stay in this state as long as possible at any conditions. So it means the adapt uh, uh, adaptation abilities of the organism should be higher in order to be able to maintain this state even under different stressful factors. So, and Bywell can visualize and may, uh, help you to understand in which state you are right now. Are you coping with the current problem, with the current state or not? Are you able to um, adapt to the current conditions or not? So, this threshold in the software is about 20%. So if this uh, difference between the left and right energy values of the same sector is more than 20%, it will be highlighted. If it's less, it will not be highlighted. So the area diagram is one of the oldest programs in this um, GDB software. And it is based on the comparison of the finger emission and the cylinder emission. So if we think that the cylinder is some kind of ideal finger that doesn't have any emission, uh, emotions, psychologically pretty stable, um, then we are comparing them in order to understand if there's some deviations. So as long as uh, this calibrator cylinder is based for tuning, calibrating the device, this graph is comparing the area of uh, the finger with the area of the cylinder. So, and then it gives you the numbers that you can see on the external part. And uh, you can listen to this exact explanation of each number in the software in the um, videos that Dr. Kortkov has recorded on the Biowell uh, company YouTube channel, where you can see these, um, explanations for each of the tabs. So I will not devote my time here on this webinar to this exact um, um, screens so because and which what each number is meaning. I'm more concentrated on the integral interpretation of why we are using this and what for we are using this. What's the main application of this technology? So um, also, the explanation of all these numbers are given in the Biowell manual that you can download from the website and um, read it. There are manuals that are provided to all the participants of this uh, seminars and you can download them from the website too. All of them are there. You're welcome. Um, by the way, if you take a look, uh, we have posted uh, like here, you have all the manuals. Um, on the learning section on our web, uh, website. And also we have video lessons here where you can access this. Also you have the link to these educational videos that, uh, by me that are already recorded on the YouTube channel. So you can click here and go to the videos made by me um, with my interpretation, my explanations. And there is a video about the application of Sputniks at uh, doing research with the fingers Etc. So you're welcome. By the way, just wanted to tell you uh, that we have uh, made a new video, advertisement media video about uh, Biowell that is now available on our main page of Biowell website. Um, and um, it's just couple of minutes video that is giving you the essence of this technology in which state, uh, states it's being used and what it can show to uh, you as a user. So um, it doesn't have any words. There are only two or three words there. Uh, so it can be used in any country. So stress, everybody knows this word. The biowall that can help you analyze this through analyzing the energy flows in the body through this gas discharge that we are getting. And then we are comparing before and after or the
current state with the optimal state. Then we can do something with this state in order to be better. To go towards health and wellness. So that's what BioWell is helping you to control and to monitor. So you're welcome. You can use this BioWell for your practices, uh, for your advertisements and to explain to your clients and uh, to uh, your friends what the BioWell is about. So you're welcome to use it and download it and uh, uh, post on your websites too. <sighs> So, um, the area diagram is the comparison between the finger and the calibration cylinder based on area parameter. HS parameter at the bottom is the average of the graph. So, you see that each sector has its number. So, if you calculate all the sectors, you sum them and then divide on the number of sectors, you will get HS. So this is integral um, parameter that is used for understanding the state of the person from the energy perspective for the left hand and for the right hand. So there are optimal zones and the colors are used in the same way in all the software. So if it's green, it's optimal when it's going to uh, orange pink red zone it's deficiency of energy when it's going to uh, li uh, light yellow light uh, yellow colors it's too much excess of energy so this is one of the approaches to define it just from the uh, point of view of um, area so the number of pixels there but this graph this uh, diagram is old it was developed when there was no understanding of um, how to control and how to calibrate the intensity. Whilst we have developed this uh, approach with the BioWell, um, recently, well, BioWell was developed and we have, we have improved it through the years so that the calibration now is able to uh, tune the intensity to. So then, this graph is telling you only the comparison based on area, whilst it doesn't care if these pixels are of high intensity or low intensity, whilst the intensity is telling you of what energy these electrons that are flying away from the fingertip are transferring to the air molecules and, by, and creating light. So in order to understand the energy of the person, you have to take into consideration not only the number of these electrons, but also the energy of these electrons. So that's why we have the second diagram called energy diagram, where the energy parameter is being used. So where we are taking into consideration not only the number of pixels, but also the intensity of these pixels. So that's why this graph is giving more um precise e explanation of what the energy state of the person is at the current moment so uh the energy reserve parameter is an experimental parameter that is still under development it's being still tested and um, the formula can be improved further on or if we will find out that it's not worth uh, using that it will be uh, eliminated from the software. So just do not rely your conclusions on this parameter. It's a reference parameter with, the, you see asterisk there. So it's just e experimental ones. Um, look at it, define in which cases it work, in which cases it doesn't work. Uh, we are working on this too in order to define this. I have already told you about the balance. So the Color grid is the same as here on this energy graph. So because it's the same energy parameter here. So um, it's directly connected with the organs disbalance graph here. So that's what you can understand in terms of the like, dominance of left and right hands. So the actual fingers, like all of them that you are um, have captured. The 
biorhythms tab or the organs energy organs energy tab is um, the same parameter as on balance and energy diagram tabs it's absolutely the same numbers that you will see here values are the same simply in brackets you can see the average if you click on any organ or system you will see these like what is the number for the right side what's the left and here is the average of it what is interesting and what is important that you will not find the digestive system sectors on the previous tabs they are not here why just because they are not paired so these sectors are present only in one hand on left side or on right side that's why you can find the actual numbers for these uh, sectors for these organs on this tab so you can see if they are in red zone in yellow zone or in green zone so that's what makes this tab useful all the rest of the uh, data is the same as on previous tabs so the next uh, positive thing here that you and useful thing is this average value for this system for the head for cardiovascular respiratory system or endocrine system so that's what you can analyze here just pay attention to the fact that if the sector is very narrow and it's only one sector of course the accuracy of calculation here is lower if you compare this to the sector that has like these wide sectors so because the wider is the range the more adequate and the more accurate is the calculation of average so that's why um, the more data you have the more accurate will be the measurement so when you have only very low of course the average and the calculation is not so precise as for other sectors so please bear it in mind while you're doing some interpretation that's why it is even more important to repeat the measurements not to rely on one measurement but to repeat it as many times as possible in order to understand the state of the person well, I have shown you that it takes only a couple of minutes and Mac, like if uh, you don't have to excessive fly, then it takes like a couple of minutes or one within one minute, you can do the full scan. So not a big deal. So the biorhythm is, is not about biowell, actually, it's just absolutely different concept that is just shown here for um, general understanding of that there are psych uh, psychological, like emotional, physiological and intellectual cycles. This concept is uh, something that is generally known by public and uh, you can use it or not use it, it's up to you. Um, so ex again, Dr. Korotkov in his video is explaining this. There's not much there. So if you have several uh, cycles, two or three cycles in the same days that are in the menu, you have to be cautious, that's it. Uh, we are also intending to start tracking if you will be measuring yourself al almost every day and then you will see if these uh, energy and stress levels that you are capturing will correlate with the biorhythms or not. We are going and we want to start this kind of research too. So uh, the INIAN program is also a, an experimental program as i told you from the point of view of tcm there's only six meridians on the hands uh, but we are having 12 here so um, if you are a specialist in acupuncture points in meridians you're welcome to use this program and do some kind of conclusions based on you know um values here the energy values of each um channel so if you're not a specialist in uh, this meridians and you don't know what they're connected to etc you're free not to use it it's more like a specific program for the specific uh, users you know so um, another thing is the chakras chakras is absolutely separate program from the rest of the software actually it's not even connected to this intersection of fingers 
Chakras program has its own intersection of every fingers and each chakra is connected to a specific zone of specific fingers uh, that we have captured. So the deviation left to right on this picture is connected to the balance between the left and right hand. If one is dominating or another is dominating. So that's what you can see here. Um, there are integral parameters like the average energy. So this, the energy is the size of these centers, energy centers. So the ideal is when they're all in line and the alignment is how close all seven are to this ideal state. Um, again, chakras are about repetition. In order to tell something to a person about psychological state, you have to repeat measurements as many times as possible in order to um, make more correct conclusions. Because our system is a dynamic system, it's not a static one. So it changes through the time. So in order to give some kind of interpretation of the general state, psychological state of the person, uh, you have to have as many scans as possible. So then you can understand that some people, if you like uh, measure them many times and different days, you can click compare and see where the chakras goes. Are they constantly in the normal green zone or they going to the yellow and red zone? So then there's something to take care of which centers are less stable and which centers are more stable for this specific person. So, and I can show you an example. So if we look just on the um, energy field, so this, tab the tab name is energy field so and the emission the visual content well we will not notice anything unusual it's pretty um, normal nothing special uh, but if we go and compare all of them we will see and go to the chakras we will see this so it means that this person is really unstable in her psychological state. Again, as I told you, repetition is the main thing. If we will do only one test, we will never find this out by looking at one scan. It was 93% aligned and pretty good, pretty fine. But by repeating it, we can see how un unstable this person is. So it means there's something to take, a take care of and something to change in the life in order to strand towards health. So um, it's time, it's finishing, we're finishing the, uh, the lecture for now uh, because it's already one hour. Um, we, did, we don't want to make it too long uh, so that more people will be able to watch it online on YouTube later on. So um, if you will have uh, some questions about uh, these um, things that I was explaining today, about the things that uh, Dr. Korkov was explaining a week ago, uh, you are welcome to ask the questions. Um, just prepare them to the next week. So we will have the same schedule one at this time a webinar one uh, webinar in Russian and then in the evening one more webinar in English so um, if there's some you know very urgent small questions now you can ask if it's necessary or if I was clear and you got the point that I was um, sending in terms of interpretation of the biowell data uh, you can ask now or prepare the questions for the further webinar on the next week Okay, so I hope that everybody enjoyed this and thank you for coming. Thank you for spending 
uh, your precious time with uh, me today and enjoy BioWell and I hope that your level of interpretation will increase drastically starting from today. Okay, take care, stay safe, be healthy, all the best to you and see you next week.